Uh, welcome to the Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024 meeting. Uh, will you join me in saying the pledge? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, another God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. There. Oh, first up is the warrants. Brian, you have the warrant, general fund warrants. General fund warrant dated uh, October 22nd. Total amount 70,700. Let me try that again. Just uh, right here. General fund warrant dated today, October 22nd, 2024. Total amount is $70,727.67. Uh, lots of various um, um, charges on there. The largest group, as uh, is the case more often than not, is just health insurance, which is $29,551 and some cents as well. Uh, so I would make a motion that we accept the general uh, bond warrant as presented. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Jack, you have the miscellaneous one. I got a bunch of okay. stuff. <clears throat> First is the federal ARPA warrant, uh, fund warrant, for $59,980.92. Uh, you want to do them all? Or no? And we have the stormwater utility warrant. For $9,218.92. Industrial part warrant for $917.73. Stone house warrant for $1,750. Oh. Infrastructure development warrant. $25,788.90. That's it. Uh, Mo, I make a motion we approve these. Second. Okay, any further discussion? Uh, I have a question on the uh, Stonehouse warrant. Yeah, I think there were six or seven invoices mm -hmm. for $750 or $250 a piece. Mm -hmm. Did that brew fest happen? The brew fest happened, yeah. Was that like back in August? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're just catching up now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Harvest Fest is the one that we. Oh, the har. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, Jeff, you have the payroll warrant. Yep. I have uh, two payroll warrants. Uh, one dated October eleventh, twenty twenty four, for the amount of twenty four thousand. $987.37. And I have a second payroll warrant dated the Oct October 18th, 2024. And that's for $24,242 and one cent. And I would make a motion that they be approved as, as one. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So I believe that's it for the warrants. Uh, in your packet, you have the minutes from the October 7th meeting. Somebody would like to make, make a motion to approve those minutes. So move. Yep. Second that. Thank you. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Public comment. There's nobody here to make a public comment. So we're going to move on to errors and omissions. Bill, come on up. Molly, unfortunately, was feeling a little better, and uh, so I popped in her place. So it's always after to do it. So, uh, so just a couple. Um, one error on our part, um, and then the rest of them are uh, personal property and bank accounts. Uh, the one error that uh, we did pick up on is when we removed or when we removed uh, a parcel from from Shore LLC. Um, we did not reduce the value of the current parcel. So we correct that and bring that value to the 5795 um, The veteran's exemption, um, generally speaking, um, I support that if anybody gets a veteran's exemption all the way up until the last day of December. Um, and then people do air conditioning this time of year. 
He tried to, um, but by my son, he went to my office and say, hey, I just got this letter. I've been, you know, disabled and had to register with their letter. I was going to the slide for the that was very important. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Uh, the other two are just um, the Global Medical and JKAD are two critical properties that did not file. Um, unfortunately, we only get about 40% of uh, respondents on personal property letters. We send them out every single year. Um, and if they don't respond, then we send for carry over to them from the previous year. And then they get a tax claim. So, you got those from them. We bona fide, but they get a tax claim. Any questions? So, we glad to. Uh, I don't know. Are there any other questions? That's just one. I'm look, I'm reading it. It says uh, request make that parcel inactive. But what does that mean? So it basically means that we keep a list of all the parcels in town and have some exempt. Mm -hmm. We'll inactivate them so they're no longer active in our grant list as a taxable property. Um, and then instead of somebody moves back into town, um, we reopen that personal property account. We can reactivate it. And it gives us a history. Um, when we got here, when I got here eight years ago, uh, we found hundreds of holes in our grant list where we didn't have any history. We used the, the basic expand numbers, which is the easiest way to tell. Mm -hmm. um, we go from you know 10,050 to 10,052, and we would know where 10,051 went because they simply didn't leave it. And that's not like the appropriate practice for audit purposes, is we need to go back and when we inactivate that parcel. What, what what happens to that? Because obviously the land doesn't disappear. So right. it, is it because it goes into? So the two that were uh, let's see, she mean it goes from personal to something else. Personal property is like if you had like a manufacturing facility, you pay just town tax on all your equipment. Mm -hmm. You don't pay school tax. Uh, so the bill saying like if you sold your company. Someone else has to open a personal. Oh, we're property. sorry. We're, we're talking about personal property. No, like I, I thought we were talking about real estate. Right. I was trying to so the parcel. The example of real estate would be say um, a developer um, does a POD plan in its development and has say 20 units. Um, and then they have a common area land parcel of say 30 acres. Um, we will move past that, assess that developer while he is selling up the lots. But once all those lots have been sold, that remaining 30 acres becomes an inactive parcel. And the reason being is it doesn't worth anything. When you purchase a piece of land in a subdivision, you're also purchasing a right to use that 30 acres of open space. So we can't tax it, but we can activate it, and then we can post the system as to how it's attached to the other properties. Okay. Yeah, so the value for that, that 30 acres sense. is prorated among the other parcels. Among the other parcels, yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Any other questions? Welcome to approve. Okay. We got second. A second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Great. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Would somebody like to make a motion to recess the select board meeting and convene as the liquor control board? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So the newest application here, we have the Stewart Shops is coming into town at 711 Fairfax Road. How uh, many total locations would they have? So there's only one in the town. Oh, one in the, that's, that's right. That's all you would on there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. They've got a whole rebrand. They got bought by Stewart's. Yeah. yeah. Are they going to keep them at Jolly for a while? No, we're so changing. Are they going to do fuel too? Or? I believe so. Yeah. So who's selling them the fuel, Jolly? I think they're essentially just changing the sign to keep them there. Yeah. They get Krispy Kreme donuts. I thought they, they bought the whole thing. I think Stewart's has Krispy Kreme donuts. Yes, they do. They yeah. do? That's coming to Vermont. There you go. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Net positive. Yeah. Yeah. That's good ice cream. Yeah. 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 I like the steward shops. So okay, so we have a tobacco license, a second class license, and a tobacco substitute endorsement. If somebody would want to make a motion to approve those three licenses. So moved. Thank you. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Somebody like to make a motion to adjourn the 
Liquor Control Board meeting and reconvene as a select board meeting. So moved. Second. Okay, town manager's report. We don't have a sign. I don't really have any extensive report. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on, uh, as everybody is aware. But yeah, we're going forward with the community facilities uh, program grant with USDA. So we're moving forward with that. Uh, same thing, we're pushing forward to take potentially take over Lake Street 336 down here. So we're in advance talks with the V Trans on that. Uh, hope is to have the RFP out for A and E for the fire department by the end of this week, and oh, for the study, for the building, for the, I mean, what? yeah, for the new firehouse, yeah. Uh, storm water, storm water, storm water. Yeah. Unless you have any particular questions about, anybody have any questions for the town manager? All right, I have a question about stormwater. Not mm -hmm. uh, like a maybe it's a comment slash question. Um, I was talking to Nina Gage at the Department of Ag this past week, and and uh, I guess Dave, somebody from the town has approached them about about some projects down on like Quam Shore. Oh yeah, the Quam Shore stormwater and, study, and yeah. she's yeah. So she she said that. Like um, we've scoped a bunch of studies or some level yeah. of studies, but there's no, and and in those projects are gonna it's gonna require that the the landowner the farmer give up some land or something. And she said they'll the state will never issue a permit for that because because ag cannot discharge water, it's it's not allowable under under the current rules. So like. There's no, so that's going to have to, they're going to find another way to do that. There's yeah. no, there's no way to get a permit to dis, to capture water and discharge it. You can let it run off. Yeah. Which can't. is what it's doing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So she just, she just said that, that, that we need to figure You're out. You're talking another way to do that. Flows out of the gravel wetlands or whatever devices. They well, use. I think, I, I mean, I, I don't know where every spot is, but there's some, field runoff that at certain times of the year and certain weather events is excessive. And I think they did, and, I, and Sean could clarify, but I think we've done some scoping studies to try to reduce that flow by capturing the water and then releasing it. But that requires a stormwater permit or some sort of a permit in <coughs> agriculture. They cannot be issued those permits. So either like one solution might be to go on some other landowner. Like it just can't be a farm. Farm ag land, you they don't buy the land. I don't know. That, that may be a way out, but who's gonna sell their land? I I have no idea. I just know that I just know that I just sharing that we're gonna have to work towards finding a different solution. The e the easy solution is gonna go. It's like an oxymoron in this case. Yeah. The most obvious one. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Because of the of the weird way Vermont laws are structured. Yeah. 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 So, but yeah that just sharing, that. just sharing. Yeah. Mostly a lot of the corn ground along the farm over there. Yes, Bordeaux, yeah, boys and all. yeah, yeah, maybe a whisker of the set, but I think those those two own a lot of, a lot of that. So. Yeah, that grant was like we got a grant to do that study. I think I was like when I first it was already in the works when I first got here. Like, yeah, I, I remember. Got, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we got the email the other day, maybe oh. yesterday even, that kind of outlined that. So okay. we're we're just yeah. kind of starting to explore that. Yeah. No. For sharing. It's my favorite word in education. It was dictionary. What? Storm? Storm water. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, unless you guys have any other particular questions, I think I've kept you guys up to it. You got to get something going. So I did notice, a good notice on the stormwater part of the budget, mm -hmm. it's like up to one hundred eighty thousand. Like, it seems a little out of kilter. Yeah, 
That was with the uh, for the salaries. Yeah. What is yeah, it? that was because we included parts of the DPW salaries last year, because we we said that they've got. I think we used. We have to look back at my own. I think it was twenty percent of the DPW yeah. salaries, because we figured they spend a fifth of their time or so on stormwater projects. Yeah. 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 And that was an effort to keep the, the increase from being any more drastic yeah. last year. Did that update make its way into the I think it is, right? Because I'm just looking at what the last year's what last year's salaries were compared to the years previous and it went down. So yeah, for the pre, yeah, between right. two years ago to, to last year. Yeah. Last year, yeah. yeah. Five, yeah, June, yeah. 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 So that was like, we, we budgeted last budget, fiscal year 24, yeah. 531 and change. And then this year's fours. Budget. Yeah. It's 442. That's why there's a drop, yeah. Also in the DPW salary, yeah. It just went to Stonewall. And that's in there really just for you to see the expenses because that number is not does not get added into the bottom line. It's just to show that department on the budget sheet. Okay. So we, we realized the cut in doing that last year. Now we're seeing the increase in the stormwater salary. Got it. Okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Uh, people on the revenue yeah. side and on the expense side. Right. So just continuing what we did, what we started with last year's budget. Yeah. Okay. Anybody have any other business? Huh? No, 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 no. Okay, the next meeting is Monday, November 4th. And right before Monday, the election, I think, right? Yeah. And their election to coming up on Tuesday. And November 18th is our third meeting, second meeting of the month, and the third week at 6 30 p.m. Uh, do, are we going to schedule another budget session, or are we just going to do like an hour before, an hour after? Yeah, I mean, I figure we'll wait until we get the joint police board. I think that's kind of. Oh, yeah, that's kind of. Yeah, yeah, once we get that, right? Yeah, we can get that number in. Kind of have more. That's a big number, or yeah. important number, I should say. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's big. Oh, that too. Yeah. 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 It's big. big yeah. I wanted to just yeah. emphasize the importance <laughs> of the yeah. big number. It's a big, important number. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, having said that, uh, would somebody <laughs> like to make a motion to go into executive session to discuss a personnel matter where premature general public knowledge of the subject matter would place the town? Or persons involved at a substantial disadvantage. Further move to enter into executive session to discuss a personnel matter under the provision of Title 13A1 of Vermont statutes and to invite the town manager. I might be late. I might be late. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make that motion. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.